Hey buds, welcome back to Mattaballs, and welcome back to the epilogue, episode 60, part 4 of uh, Dragon Ball Z Abridged. Holy shit! Holy shit, guys, this is, um, <laughs> you know, this is, we've made it a long way from the beginning, and it's actually kind of nuts that we're, like, wrapping it up. It feels weird. It feels weird, but we have a lot of other shows to react to after this. Just to confirm from last week, I think the way to go is the um, Helsing with uh, maybe like one or two weeks of breaks in between each series just to like reset completely and then we can hop over. But I'll do like other kinds of reactions and stuff in between as well. But that that's currently the idea. Again, just to make sure, just share your thoughts on that, just to make sure we all are in the same mind space of uh what we want to do next because i'm pretty sure everybody was into those things but i just want to confirm right before we get into it all right does that sound good okay anyway let's get into it the following is a fan-based parody dragon ball dragon ball z dragon ball gt and dragon ball super are all owned by funimation toei animation shueisha and akira toriyama please support the official release oh yeah make sure to tell future me she raised you right Oh, I've got a lot to tell you. I'm gonna miss you, Trunks. Have a oh, also, um, if you're like, why did you do the Kai... The Kai little episodes before you did the epilogue? Well, I have been... I, I do a lot of the content on my own, you know? I, I had an editor for JoJo's for a little bit. I, I just helped my friend while he was looking for a job and stuff. But he found a job recently, so that's really cool. But now, I'm on my own. So I'm currently doing almost... Almost. Uh, two episodes a day for all my content stuff and doing all the editing and then the patreon stuff and then now socials as well so i'm getting into everything so i uh <laughs> i kind of forgot the epilogue was a thing so there's a lot of stuff i keep forgetting about and there's a lot of uh it's, it's just a lot going on i'm having a good time with it my mind is just uh jumping around a lot so that's all it comes down to all right that i just wanted to explain that a little bit safe trip back to the future mcfly Say pink hair. Why does Trunks have the color hair he does? His mom's hair is blue, right? And Vegeta's is just black. Hmm. Shouldn't his hair be light blue? <laughs> Suck on that, verse Einstein. Collapse that wave function all over your pasty German et. Huh? Trunks! Oh, you're back. Thank goodness you're... Everything go well? Hey, Mom! You ever meet Dad? <sighs> okay, look. Love is complicated. Seriously, how was I supposed to prepare you for a year alone with him? <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that interaction. It's like, hey, why the fuck... Fa why, the why the hell him? Why that piece of shit? I don't think she technically had a choice. I mean, she had a choice, but she it's what she wanted. I never even got a week. Mom, you didn't prepare me for a car ride to the grocery store with a man. What did you see in him? A short, stubborn, powerful person desperate for recognition. As a female scientist in her early 30s, I guess I identified with that. I just wish I could have. Well, apparently you're his baby boy, so he wasn't all bad. Right? A revelation that came at the cost of my literal life. Yeah. Then again, considering the dysfunction of that whole group, maybe I'm not the worst off. Yeah. It's fair. Because I raised you right. That's true. Oh, uh, about that. I will say, he he is pretty, like, level-headed. You know, he's he also fucked up a little bit, that's for sure. But, you know, at least he kind of thinks things through. He's kind of, like there a little bit mentally everybody else is like very exaggerated personalities of like goofballs right for the most part or different versions of it but he is like gohan adjacent gohan is like annoying like well behaved or like intelligent right and then trunks is like right right in the middle of him and vegeta or maybe, maybe more towards gohan's but you know what i mean before you found out i was your son in the past 
You might have made a pass at me. I would have never brought this up. Never. Why the fuck would you say this? Well, duh. Mom! Hey, it's not my fault your dad's genetics and mine got along like chocolate and peanut butter. Is that why you used to call me your little peanut butter cup? This is Alpha Leader Wombat coming at you live from Parsley City. We've got our special guests, the Cyborgs, and they are tearing it up! I've already lost five men, I'm running out of ammo, and I'm holed up in the bank. Looks like this will be ALW's last report. Watch out, DJ! I'm coming home, brother! But tonight, we died in heaven! Was that... Is that a Drake and Josh reference? Not the tonight we dine in hell, of course. The I'm coming home, brother. That could be something else. I thought that was the cadence of their, their bit. Hm. Perfect. Just save me the effort of hunting them down. Be careful. I know you're stronger, but I don't want history repeating itself. Don't worry, Mom. I'll be back before that tea gets cold. Actually, it's it's probably going to take me a little while to get there, so... Right, so want me to put in a thermos you can just, or uh, make more when you, you know, get back? You I'll just, I'll just finish it now. You know, sis, they say catharsis is actually bad for your health. And so is calling me a, quote, homebot, end quote. I'd have gone with Rose Thought. Well, duh. Since you're a girl, you'd obviously be a gynoid. Which is funny, considering guy is in the... Mother? <laughs> Not a bad shot, Pops. <laughs> Must be popular down at the shooting range. I mean... He hit, like, roughly five out of six shots in the head, so... That's, it is pretty good. Uh, 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 uh. I, on the other hand, have terrible aim. I forgot he has a gun for, like, just horrible reasons. I gotta get up real close, see? So do me a favor. Sit still. If you're reading this... Oh, right. Gynoid. Like gynecology. Yes, I, th <laughs> I, th I thought that was the point. It's obvious when I think about it. Get away from him! <laughs> I hope you got everything out of your wretched lives you wanted because they end today no actually he should be significantly stronger now right because this is like he left his world while they were destroying it and he was weaker and then he went to the other the other dimension and then he went into the time chamber right for the year then he came out with the Vegeta and then he's he, like this point he was beating the shit out of Cell so he should be able to wipe the floor with these assholes. Nobody else is going to. Oh. Probably could have microwaved that tea. Well, well, well. Hey there, Lilac. It's been a few weeks. Surprised you're on your feet already. Also breathing. See, 17? This is what you get when you don't double tap. Also, does he look different to you? Yeah, ditched the sword, lost the jacket, plus you got jacked. He must be crushing that 5x5. Five five. Also, did you get a little taller? Or... Jesus Christ, swipe right already. Pretty sure he's more your type. <laughs> no thanks. I'm into shorter men. Sis, watch out! <laughs> yep. Now it's too bad you left that sword at home. Now I'm going to have to do what comes next with my bare hands! I'm not even worried about it. Is this a bad time to point out his specific choice in shirt? You know, it's funny, and a little bit sad. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. <laughs> I mean... Fuck, man. You two androids didn't have to turn out like this. The ones I met in the- Hold up, did you just call us androids? That's offensive. Again with this shit? Oh, right. Uh, they called you androids in the past. The past? What, did you time travel? Uh, yeah. Wait, when was that? Shouldn't we remember you? How about this? If I don't kill you in the next minute, I'll give you an explanation. Trust me, wife beater. By the time we're done with you, we won't need one.
Wait a second. Okay. That's what you meant by his choice in shirt? Jesus, dude! What, are you kidding? I put a bullet in some dude's gray matter not two minutes ago, and that's what's got you offended? Right. Any chance I could talk you out of this? Did he just obliterate her? What was my master's name? Huh? The man who taught me. The man whose arm you took. The man you killed. What was his name? Goku Jr.? Wrong answer! Sick. Absolute sword. Jeez, this is really an epilogue. You really think he's going to take the bait? I'm pretty sure I have a corpse in another timeline that says, yes, he will. Now stick to the script, Mom. Jeez, morbid. <coughs> All right, son. Time to take this time machine back to the past, where there are two living cyborgs for you to help Goku defeat. Thanks, Mom. I can't wait to save all those juicy fat people in the past from those cyborgs with this time machine! Make sure to write! <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh shit, is that him? You know, you never told me he was green, but I imagined he was green. Mom. <laughs> He's looking right at us. Does he... does he know I can see him? Is his vision based on movement? Mom, script! All right, son, I'm going to make dinner. It'll be done by the time you get back. All right, tall, dark, and bugly. I know you're there. No, you don't. This is an ambush. Uh... I also know you're here to kill me and take my time machine. So let's skip the monologue. Also, you killing me. Ah, uh, but that's the fun part. And unfortunately, I seem to be missing two vital pieces. So I'm gonna need that time machine so I can... Go back in the past and absorb the cyborgs. To achieve my... Perfect form. Okay, you suck. You are sucking all the fun out of this. I'm the only one who sucks here, boy. That came out wrong. No, sounds right to me. Seriously, Ooh. whose DNA made him look like he stepped into a teleporter with Jeff Goldblum? Oh... How do you know all this? Because, as someone once told me, multiverse theory's a bitch. Okay, I feel like you're referencing something. Yeah, I, I've given up at some point. Like, I understand just the small bits, but I think I've just come to accept, hey, you know the generic information, don't look too much into it, enjoy the rest of it. And it's been working out pretty well since I've accepted that. And I don't get it, and that's not fair. So I'm really gonna need that time machine now, so I can just go back and redo this whole conversation. Sorry, Cell. You already got your way once. Wait, Cell. Is that my name? Oh man, that's way better than the name I came up with. I was thinking... Jiren. Yeah, see, I thought it was boring too. Ah! I hope you're prepared to meet your maker. In hell. Because I'm pretty sure that's where Dr. Jero is. <laughs> this 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 fight should also be a cakewalk, right? He contended with Perfect Cell for a bit. For a bit. So, I mean, the first stage Cell should be just... It should be relatively weak. I mean, I, I, he's supposed to be stronger than the, than the other androids, because that's what he does is he sucks the other androids, right? But, I mean, not by much, I would think. Uh, you think you're cute? Bitch, I'm adorable. <laughs> Boy, howdy, kids. Looks like your old friend sells in quite a sticky wicket. Whatever should he do? Use the Kamehameha. Good idea. Ha -me. Ah! Let me finish. Get out of my f***ing timeline! What is this? And now <laughs> okay. the end is near. Oh god damn it! Yeah. 
it's over. After everything, this feels... This feels... Anticlimactic. <laughs> Epilogues! So, truth be told, I never really got to know your father that well. He and I shared one night of passion after he came back to Earth. Mom, you... And unfortunately, he didn't know what protection meant. I really don't need to know this. But after that first time, I just thought, well, in for a penny, in for a pounding. Uh... And I really was. Uh... Oh, I'll see you guys next week.